In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, Amen. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense this day against the wickedness and snares of the devil. And he actually has, so let's go over and ask him a question. He actually has a Satan flag, I think. So what's that represent? What's that represent? Hail Satan! Okay, so we've got a Satanist here. So that just tells you about the pro-choice side. Kennedy Hall from LifeSite News. Kennedy Hall with LifeSite News. Kennedy Hall with LifeSite News. I'm Kennedy Hall with LifeSite News. Kennedy Hall with LifeSite News. Um, again, one of the themes of the day is the contrast. Can you hear that? They're saying abortion saves lives. You know, I also heard one time that two plus two is five. Um, this pro-choice movement has become a parody of itself. We've got Satanists, we've got topless people with beards, we've got people saying abortion saves lives. I don't know, I'm starting to think uh, a lot of those scriptures are coming to fruition. What position are you here to support? Pro-choice, of course. So, is that because you believe someone should have sort of sovereignty over their body? Uh, yes, because a lot of times what happens is men try and make laws over women's bodies, and that's totally unacceptable. So, so you'd probably not like it if a male politician made a law that was supportive of abortion? Because um, it's well, a man. Well, like, the thing is, it's, it's what women want. It's what they're saying they want. So what if a woman wanted a pro-life law? Could a man make it then? Um, it's not It's not their choice. Yeah. Besides, it's not like we're trying to make everybody have abortions. We're just trying to give people the right to choose. Yeah, so exactly. we want men sorry, sorry. who are in power to give us the right to choose. So what if the, would the baby have a choice though when they were born? No! It's a clump of cells, not a baby. By definition, it's a parasite. It's leeching off its mother. I'm sorry, I, I can't hear you under your mask. By definition, it's a parasite. It's a clump of cells. It doesn't have a personality. It's not alive. It's in the mother's stomach. So it's not alive. So it's not alive. No. So if the, dead, dead things become alive then. If the baby, if giving birth could kill a woman, is that what you really want? As someone who's gotten sexually assaulted, and if I got raped, would you force me to have that child? Would you? Would sure. you force me to ruin my entire life? I'm sorry you've been assaulted, but having a child would not ruin your entire life. Yes, it would. I am in no position to support that. I want an education. So okay. could you do adoption then? Adoption? How these people how, here, these people what if giving birth killed me? Huh? How about you take what are the care odds of that? Of the kids that are already high. in the system. I have five, thank you. But take care of the kids that are already in orphanages. So, are you going to fund the orphanages? Yes, no. that's actually what pro-lifers do. We fund orphanages. Do, all you want is that the baby to be born. You don't care what happens after. You don't care what happens to the mother after. It ruins her life socially. It ruins her life economically. It ruins her life generally. You so will if never the mother, understand how hard it is to be pregnant, let alone be pregnant in high school. Will you? No. Not in high school. So you think that everyone should have sovereignty over their body, correct? Yeah. 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 So you probably think vaccine mandates are wrong. I've ran into a uh, LifeSite reader and viewer, Caroline Lejoie. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. So, is this your first time at the March for Life? Uh, in Ottawa, yes. Okay. And whereabouts have you guys come from? All the way from Sarnia. 
I'm from down Lake Huron Way as well. Oh, really? Nice. Yeah. So what made you decide to make that about eight and a half, nine hour drive? <laughs> uh, the fight for babies. They, they need a voice and I'm here to be their voice. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for joining us today on the program here. Ladies and gentlemen, again, the contrast. People of God, calm, peaceful, here to love people, and then whatever's behind me. And do you come to your conviction from a philosophical point of view, from a religious point of view, from a... It's from a spiritual point of view that a woman has the right to choose on her own body. And um, yeah, uh, as becoming a mother, I've seen what it is to be a mother. And I think I made the decision to become a mother and I chose it. And unfortunately, some women that don't have that choice, they get pregnant and they need to have the choice to become a parent or not. He's, what did you say? I said correct. Correct what? Uh, you said so, I guess he's pro-choice. I said correct. Because you're a Satanist? Uh, yes. Can you say that again? So you're a Satanist and that means you're pro-choice? Uh, yes. Yeah. Alex Jones was right. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all evil spirits who prowl around the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost.